everyone, this is P with Mr. V and today we're doing a Muay Thai cardio workout. So Muay Thai is a combat sport that comes from Thailand. Now in Muay Thai they use eight different weapons, basically parts of our body. They use two fists, two feet, two knees and two elbows. Now obviously we're not going to use these weapons to hurt anyone, but it happens to be a great workout so we're just going to use the different techniques that they use in Muay Thai to train our body. Now, uh, for this workout you don't need a lot, just a water bottle and normally Muay Thai is always barefoot. Now, it's not ideal to be barefoot on a cold floor like I am here today, but that's just uh, the way I prefer it instead of wearing shoes here on the floor. If you have a wooden floor, even better, but I don't, so I'm just going to do it barefoot for just 20 minutes, I think that's fine. Um, so we are always the same, so the same setup. We're going to start with our warm up, then a bit of active stretching, the actual workout, which is 12 minutes, and then three minutes of passive stretching at the end. So I hope you're ready because we're about to get started with our warm up. Rope skipping, air jump rope. Okay, so just in the air. Hope you're ready. We're going to start in five seconds. Loosen up those legs a little bit. Ready, and here we go. Just start to follow my lead. One foot. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Knee lifting. Knee lifting. Straddle. That was front straddle, side straddle. You can even cross. Well done. Double. Well done. And running. Great warm up. Now we're going to do some active stretching just to loosen up our body parts and get ready to move our muscles. So we're just going to start with our neck, big circles, other side, and then yes, no, to the side. Hold on, big circles with your arms. Backwards. Hips, just working our way down. Other direction. Well done. Just high kicks and we try to touch with our opposite hand, okay? So right foot goes to left hand, left foot to our right hand. That's it. Now, oh sorry, one more left one. Now knees up. Back to the front. Here. Very good. And our ankles. And our wrists. Perfect. We are ready to go. Okay, now for the actual workout, which will be 12 minutes, so 12 times 1 minute, within each minute we're going to work half a minute and half a minute of rest. Now it is a cardio move time. Uh, workout so try to really stay active within those 30 seconds the first 30 seconds of the minute when we actually do the workout if you find it too hard to actually follow along then what you can do is just hop this is a very typical Muay Thai movement where you're constantly balancing your weight from one foot to the other so please try to stay moving within those 30, uh, first 30 seconds okay that's really important 
for the uh, remaining part, the, the second 30 seconds, I'll already explain the next one. So normally you always know what's coming up next and you will be ready for it. So I hope you're ready because we're about to get started. Maybe get some water and then we're ready to start. Okay, ready for a non-stop 12 minute workout? Let's go. Our first exercise is simple. Just stay moving on your feet, keep moving on your feet and just throw punches. Okay, left, right, left, right. Ready? Go! We're knuckles parallel to the floor. You're strong when you breathe out, so when you throw your punch, that's when you have to be strong. Okay? Try not to block your, your breathing because then you're making it very difficult for yourself and you're not giving oxygen to, to your muscles basically. Okay, the next one is a speed bag. I'm sure you've seen that, that, that back boxing bag that just moves along and the boxer just moves it like that. So we're going to go like this. Go! Keep on moving with your feet. Higher than your shoulders. Oh, you can really feel it now. Great. Well done. Next one. We're going to keep our guard up. And we're going to do knee lifts. Okay, with our guard up. Guard up knee lifts. Okay, after that one, we're going to start throwing our punches. Okay, so guard up, knee lifts, as high as you can. Ready? Guard up, go! Jab, cross. So that means your first hand here is front arm, then back one. So we're going to be moving constantly. It's a cardio workout. So we're going to go. The difference with the first one is that we now have one leg in front of us. Remember to always go flat. Go. Move your shoulders.
Nice one. One more on the arms. Now we're going to, we're going to start using our feet and our legs. Uh, so if we're done, we jab the cross. The hook and the hook. Which one is that? Off cut. Okay, again, moving. And here. Okay, here. And the palm of your hand face towards you. Not like this. Like that. Ready? Next one. Get a quick drink. We're halfway. And we're going to start using our legs now. Not just our legs, our knees actually. We're going to start with it, right knee. So we're here, our legs at the back, grab onto the head, and knee. Foot, your toes, sorry, point down. So you're here. Ready? Go. to really let go of all the air when you actually do it. Okay, it's very typical to hear boxers or kickboxers or moon fight fighters go really explosively let go of the air. Okay, because you really need that force. Same thing now. Grab onto the imaginary head, ear, knee. When you do that, that's when you breathe out. Ready? Okay, let's combine the two now. So we're going to go right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee. Okay, alternating. I can't feel that the floor is cold anymore. Boarding up for me. Oh. Okay, number nine. Hope you're ready. Alternating, right knee, left knee. Let's go. Nine down, three to go. Next one, high case. Really important now with my right leg that my foot that stays on the floor twists. So it's here and come down. And my left hand goes over and come back. That's why I'm not wearing socks, otherwise I would fall on this one. Okay? So doesn't matter how high you go, what kind of this you go. Everyone does this, 
to their own best ability. If you can lift your leg even higher, great. If you can't, just do it as good as you can. Uh, now with your bad leg, if you can't do it as high as before, that's fine. Just do low kicks. Okay? We try to keep it up as long as you can. Ready? One more, straight kicks. These are more difficult to jump. So we're just going to do them from standing position. Standing still, straight kick, straight kick. Left and right, and alternating. Last exercise, left and right, all together. Ready? Now we'll start with our stretching. Okay, now for our static or passive stretching, let's put one arm behind our back and press it down with our other hand. Just pull down your elbow right here. This is stretching our triceps, which we have been using a lot. All the punches that we threw, that was all with our triceps. Shoulders as well, obviously. Keep on breathing. Other arm, a hand between the shoulder blades, your elbow up. And just pull down your elbow as much as you can. You should really feel it stretch here in your triceps. Well done. Your shoulder. Great workout. You can see now why most martial art fighters, the first half of their practice, their training, a lot of times they don't even wear gloves. They just they just tire themselves as much as they can, and then when they're that tired, that's when they put on the gloves. That's when they start the actual workout to simulate a situation in the ring where they're already tired and then having to, to fight. Okay, try to open your chest here. Go down. And back up. Okay, feet together. Keep on breathing and come back. Very good. Now we open up. We go to one foot. You should feel it stretch here in your obliques. Other side.
Well done. Okay. Now we open up as wide as we can. And we go to the side. I'm training our abductors here. Keep on breathing. Other side. Very good, now we're just going to change and do a very deep lunge right here. Knee on the floor, remember this one. So one knee goes up, the other one is on the floor. Enough space here, the same hand, inside, out, and lean backwards for hamstrings. If you can't feel it, just more distance between your legs, between your feet, your foot and your knee, and lean backwards. Well done. Other leg, a deep lunge. On the floor again, an up distance with the same hand inside, out, and lean backwards. You should feel it here. Hamstrings, okay. Last one. Oh. Floor is getting very slippery. Let's stretch backwards. Stretching our quadriceps now. And then one more for our abs and we're done. Here. This feels very good also in your back. Basically called in yoga, remember? The upward facing dog and the downward facing dog for your calves. Well done. Great workout everyone. I hope you enjoyed the workout and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, write a comment, I read all of them. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification button so you get notified each time I post a new video, which is every day. Stay healthy, stay fit, and I'll see you in the next video. This was P with Mr. P.